Medical Disclaimer This video is for informational purposes. It does not replace the medical advice of a trained doctor. Seek medical advice before beginning any treatment plan. Good day. Eh? Welcome back to my diabetes work. Yeah. I got some chap lips or something I don't know how to take care of this. Sorry. There we go. Now, first things first, we're going to take a look at my blood sugar. My blood sugar is 13, 14. So it's after lunch, so. Yeah, we should start going up again. They have to take more insulin. God forbid. But, all is good. Today, I want to discuss. Oh, you can't have that. So often. Uh, People get a perceived notion, and I've talked about this before, that you're a diabetic, so just because you're diabetic, everything gets taken away from you. And it's true. They see you having a bag of chips. I know when I worked at a store, and I would, for lunch, you know, buy a bag of chips. It was like, oh my God, you're having a bag of chips. You're not allowed to have a bag of chips. Uh, and you know what? Yes, we are. Now, if I'm having a bag of chips for every single meal and snacks and just have, nobody should have that much fat. But, no one looks at their own stuff. It's all, oh, the diabetic can't have this. Oh, you can't have that. And you know what? It's a bunch of fooey. So often, <sighs> this happens, it's a recurring effort. I know when I used to live in my condo or in the condo or whatever you want to call it where I live, there was people sitting out front of, we had two buildings in our complex. There were people sitting at the far thing and I started sitting down having conversation. All through the summer we kind of sat there and you know, just discuss things. When they found out I was a diabetic, it was like, oh, you're not allowed to have fruit. You're not allowed to have fruit juices. You're not. And it was all based on these group of people who were a type two. And it's all kind of like, I realize that there are different treatments for type ones and type twos. I realize that. And I'm sure when people diagnose them, they said there's type one and there's a type two. But just saying, Oh, well, I can't have that, so you can't have that. Well, first of all, with the type 2, you're trying to control the amount of sugar so that your body's insulin can utilize it so that you don't have to go on insulin shots. Where type 1... Everything is pretty well controlled by a shot. 
And when I mean sod, it could be the traditional sod or it could be through the pump. Don't, don't be a snob and assume that what works for one type of diabetes will work for another. I don't sit there and tell someone who has type 2 diabetes, oh, well, you're not on shots. You need to go on shots because that's the only way you're going to control your diabetes. It doesn't work that way. And we need to be sure that we're open and discuss things. It's fine. But just don't... Oh, well, he's not taking care of himself. And that's what a number of people do. It's almost like, well, you know, he, he has a piece of cake or a piece of pie or whatever. He doesn't really care about his health. And they think it's unfair. It's kind of like us saying, well... He doesn't take insulin. You know, insulin's the only way you can treat diabetes. First of all, it's a completely different type of diabetes than us type 1s. Second of all, my type of diabetes is different than your type of diabetes. Hello? And for years, there was the uh, uh, what do you call it? The feeling that oh, diabetics couldn't have everything. And they told you about my Halloween party where we were invited down. <coughs> Everyone got little treats of. You know, sweets, some small chocolate bars. What did I get? And what did the other diabetic get? We got a chicken salad sandwich for our, our snack. Well, you can't have anything sugar. Well, there's still something that could have been done. And how crazy we are to think that you know back in the day that was the only way we could treat diabetes and nothing's changed I believe now counting carbs has opened up the doors for so much I would say if you know the carb count there isn't anything that we can, as type ones can have. Sorry, my mask is in the way I get rid of it. Type one diabetes is difficult enough. Type two is also difficult. But to sit there and decipher you know what's best for someone else really doesn't help the situation. And I can remember going to my diabetic nurse for my next visit and asking, is it true we can't have this and we can't have that? And she said, well, with the moderation, no. Just count your carbs, give the amount of insulin. But just like I'd say for anyone, don't go overboard. And that's the positive to look at. So... Nice and easy. 
type ones can occasionally have a snack. We need to count the carbs. Fruit juices aren't great, but like an orange or an apple is suitable. Sorry, I didn't mean to cover my face. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.